Good morning, my name is Steven. And I'm Jaylen. And welcome aboard Carnival Miracle for our fun day at sea. Now, we are getting a late start today. But not for the reason that you think. We actually did the behind the fun tour, which goes behind the scenes. So we got to see the bridge, the engine control room, galleys. It was awesome. We started at nine. We went, met for our excursion. It was treated just like a shore excursion. And pretty much we toured for three hours going behind the scenes on all the different crew it areas. Was a lot of walking. Lots of walking and lots of information. Unfortunately, we could not record any bit of it. They took they our phones. took our phones. <laughs> which is, um, that wasn't fun. Actually, it's probably better that we couldn't record because now you need to do it for yourselves. I highly recommend doing this tour. But it is a little expensive. It was actually $200 per person to do it. Uh, we actually got really lucky because Louis, when he met us, he was really kind enough to invite us onto the tour. He snuck us in, uh, so we weren't one of the pay paying adventures on that one. But, but we got treated like one and we got all the things that were included, which I didn't know that there was anything included. Drawstring backpack, a hat, because we had to wear this in the food preparation area. So they said, well, let's just give them hats to have. So cute. Lanyards bracelet. So you did get a few things included and then at the end they give you mimosas if you want. Um, we didn't drink any of it but we did have orange juice which yeah. is really nice which is basically like a mimosa but without the most important part of the mimosa. So I would say definitely worth the $200 if you really are interested into what goes on behind the scenes. We've never done a tour like that ever before. The closest we did was we've done a galley tour on Celebrity which was really cool but does not compare to this this was everything we literally saw everything and we had so much opportunity to ask all the different department heads and even the captain himself on just yeah. different operations we on what to they go do to the bridge and talk to the captain and see what they see and that was amazing yeah one of the best things that we've ever done on a cruise but unfortunately it did take three hours out of our day so we're getting a late start it's basically like though if we just woke up late on a normal cruise day. So it's okay. It doesn't, it's not gonna be any different than a normal vlog. We just have a little bit more to talk about at the beginning of the video. But now it is time for the normal fun that you have at sea. Welcome to Horatio's restaurant for breakfast, but it's more on lunch now. It's lunch. We are like way past noon. It's one, you guys. And I haven't eaten yet today, except for like two glasses of apple juice, half of a hot tea, and a glass of orange juice. So you haven't eaten today. Well, you already know that Chopsticks is our favorite place, so we might as well go there one last time while we can. We got our food, and the buffet is so busy today. It is a sea day, so everyone's back on board. Yesterday was so nice because everyone was still at port, but we had to walk the entire buffet to find an empty table. But we finally got one. We can finally enjoy our food. Today we decided to go with some Chopsticks and some blue iguana. Mexican and Asian food. Can't go wrong with that. Welcome to Friends Trivia, where apparently there's 30 questions. Oh, we also decided to pay for a quarter of a pound. Totally worth From it. now on, on what television network did the show originally air? Where is Chandler forced to move when he fell asleep in the meeting? Which friend was secretly married for six years? What did Ross propose to Emily with? The name of Rachel's exotic Italian lover. It's a song and it's rock music. Okay, are you ready? Okay. And rock we music have trivia. Let's see how well we do with this. song for you. And which is almost 25%. I think that's pretty good, especially since I'm pretty sure that math is off. It's no more trivia for the rest of the day or the rest of the cruise. That was our last trivia. So whatever else is next, I have no idea.
So we decided to come out just to take a look at the ocean really quickly and the speed at which we're going feels like the speed at which this day is going. Just very slow and chill, very relaxing. Not really in a rush to get anywhere or to do anything, which doesn't always feel like carnival, right? You think about carnival, you think about fun and just a bunch of things happening all the time. And um, you can definitely have a very relaxing vacation on this ship. But yeah, just the ocean, so calm. We have come up to the very top deck, very forward for the first time ever, and we realize that there's a mini golf and a basketball court. And a jogging track. I'm going really, really fast, you guys. Huh. Why do we get this in color? Because the colors are based on size. Now, it's not the largest course at sea, but it's kind of a cool one. I, I think we call it there. Yeah. Mini golf was fun, but now water slides. We finally get to use the carnival towels that they loan us in the room. So that's nice. It's the carnival miracle. These slides can't be any good. Yeah, probably. what are they? For kids? And Jalen's. We've come up to the top deck and there are, that's such a long line, there's only three three people in the line. Forget that's, it, I'm going back to the room, not worth it. You know, other cruise ships, I mean granted we're doing it in the late afternoon, but other cruise ships that I'm really a big fan of, those water slide lines can be like an hour long. And the fact that there's only three people here is pretty impressive. I mean, it's not the hottest right now, but it's not like it's cold. Go up this, sir? Yep. I guess so. I scale it. I get to hold all the stuff and record since we're not allowed to take GoPros on it. So there's two slides. We have the green one and the yellow one. We're gonna start off with yellow. Take it slow because the green one literally says scare yourself. Silly, but still scare yourself. Are you tall enough to go? 42 inches. Nope. You guys can't go. You're acting a lot like me and not wanting to go on this water slide. Why am I so scared? I love water slides. I don't know. I'm definitely more scared than you are, and I'm we, not even going. We didn't bring any eye wash. Oh, gosh. We'll meet Jalen down at the bottom. Not the fastest water slide in the world, but it was still a, a pretty solid water slide. And it like twisted the same direction and then all of a sudden it twisted the, a different way, which kind of threw me. Are we ready for the big one? Yeah, this one's a drop slide. I'm a little terrified. I don't like drop slides as much. It's the one where the feet go, you know, you're standing on the platform and the platform goes, there you go. Alrighty. Have fun. Goodbye forever. But it was 
if you come on the Carnival Miracle, I don't care if you don't want to get wet. I don't know. It's a cruise ship. Get wet. Go on this water slide. <laughs> that was so much fun. Terrifying, but you went so fast. I guess while we're up here at the slides, there's also a splash zone. I wasn't quite sure if they had it, but they do. There's a little bit of a water bucket drop, some fountains, and some small slides over there. So if you have some really, really young ones, they could come over here and play. I'm not sure if it ever gets too busy. It is quite small though, but on this cruise, there really hasn't been too many youngins. So this thing's probably been pretty wide open. Water slides were so much fun, but now for my appetizer, I got fried shrimp and mm, it looks so good. I couldn't have the sauce because of my allergy, but no fret. These look amazing anyways. So crispy, so delicious. Alrighty, so I got the chicken tenders, which has some like sweet chili sauce on it. When I ordered it, I was thinking chicken tenders, you know, fried, but this is this was not a fried dish. My mistake, but it still looks good anyways. Actually so good. If this was up in chopsticks, I would probably eat it constantly. Today I got the country fried chicken. I am so excited because they made this special for me, non-dairy. Uh, there's no kind of gravy or anything with it, but it still looks delicious. Where do I begin? That might be one of the best fried chickens I've ever had. The chicken is juicy and not overcooked. Yet the outside is crispy. That is so good. Tonight I got the braised short ribs, which is kind of like the braised beef that we had in day one, which was really good. So this, okay, fork ten, so tender that it falls off the fork. I think I might need a spoon. A pork is not even the right tool for it. You really honestly need a spoon, it's that good. That is delicious. The sauce, the flavor of the beef, everything is so fantastic. Honestly, pretty impressive. We got dessert. It's chocolate, my favorite. It looks just like the thing that we had on the very first night, and it's hot. Mm. It's just straight chocolate, and it's amazing. I'm obsessed. All your packs are back. You're ready to go. We're standing here in front of you. We hate to see you go and say goodbye. finished up dinner our last evening in the dining room was fantastic everything was phenomenal we actually had one of the fastest services we've ever had across any cruise ship it was 45 minutes and we were done with dessert like, I, every, like done from start to finish we were like i don't know if we're gonna make the show to what are we gonna do before the show so anyways everything was fantastic they finished off with one of my favorite things is that they sing for you at the end which i think is so cool yeah, it was really cool. I like when they serenade us. So. Sorry, <laughs> there was a pencil in my pocket. Final show in the theater. It's going to be World Works here. I think it's just a celebration of all the nationalities on board the cruise ship, which is going to be really awesome. With, of course, the playlist singers and dancers, which we met one of them because she was our host. Actually, we technically met two of them. We technically met two of them. But one of them was the host of our tour which was so cool we got to get to know her and yeah so we actually got to ask a ton of questions and learn all about the performers and kind of their life and stuff on board because that was our tour guide so that's who we kind of got to learn the most about and we got to go backstage into the dressing rooms so I was super excited to see the show because even though we saw the show on the first night now that we know the information seeing the show again or seeing a different show 
It's going to be awesome. Because tonight, we're going to invite our crew members on this stage. Our teenagers from Circle C and Club O2 are going to come on stage too. Are you ready? And it's now time to celebrate our brilliant crew members and the nations they come from. So please, put your hands together as we recognise all of our team members from Guyana. Some of recognise all the team members from my home nation. Give it up for everybody from the United Kingdom. Come on, Erica, we're now going to show some support for all the team members from Croatia. For the 216 team members. here which is probably one of the best carnival shows it's hard because there's another one that I really like aboard the radiance that was one of my favorites so this one puts in the question but definitely I think the meaning behind this show is just so heartwarming it was just like a bunch of love songs and love songs to this earth and to each other and just to people and it was fantastic I will say I got a little teary-eyed yes. because it was just like just really makes you, you feel the love. I thought Disney Cruise Line was the only cruise line that ever had shows that made me tear up. But this one was, that was it was beautiful. This it was a beautiful, beautiful show, especially when they dedicated it to the crew. All the crew on board have been so wonderful. 
I know a lot of things are said bad about Carnival, but honestly, I don't have any problem with any of the crew I on board. I really don't know. I, I think that they've turned around the rep. I think maybe they used to have that rep and people stuck with it. Yes, there are party crews and they're still known for that and they still are and they're that. They're still great. But they are just so, they care about you. They yeah. really do. These people on board this, I feel like even this company, they just care about people. At least they're really good at making you feel like they care yeah. about you. They're um, good at pretending like they care at least. They're, they're <laughs> amazing actors if they're just faking it. But either way, yes, phenomenal crew on board. Don't know why anyone says anything negative. Maybe in the past. I mean, we only have our, had our carnival experiences within the last two years. So pretty recent. But everything has been so fantastic. The Miracle, even though it's an old ship, I don't, I don't think that that takes away. It's just no. so beautiful i mean we everything. never ran into an issue with any team member mm -mm. they were all smiling at us no matter what we were doing louis put it a good way this is honestly just a hunk of metal floating in the middle of the ocean it's really the people on board that make it and the crew so fantastic our dining team even though we had our dining team for only two days because of the weird day and the specialty night they were fantastic everyone around the ship just different members are our stateroom attendant, everyone has been phenomenal. So I'm glad that Carnival dedicates a show just to them and all the different nations that work on board. I didn't realize how many work on board. There was a lot. A lot of ships always talk about, oh yeah, there's like the X amount of nations on board, but never have they actually visualized it for me to really realize, oh my gosh, a lot of people work on this ship. I love how they had big flags and a crew member represents their nation. And even if there's only two people from that nation, from that country, they are still representative, represented. Yes. And it's just amazing. Such an amazing show. But something that I always like hearing about Carnival is that the party never stops. It just moves. And we finally heard it for the yes. first night on board this oh ship. Gosh, the so party happy. continues over in the atrium. So we're moving on. Louis doing the final farewell party in the atrium, which we're late for. Whoops. We got to get there 15 <laughs> minutes ago. Always late. <laughs> How does it take that long to walk from the theater to the, uh, to the atrium? It ain't that big of a ship. Anyways, <laughs> we're going. <laughs> Day, so we always like to go and see what last minute things we can buy. We already did buy the ship model, so. And my sweatshirt. I'm already done for shopping, but Jalen might want to buy more things. I always want to buy more things. Well, we definitely overspent. I shouldn't have suggested going to the store one last time. I just kept finding more stuff that I wanted. All the Alaska deals were too good. I, you're not going to have the chance. It off, you guys. You're not going to get the chance to do it, but I mean. I got oh. this whole bag of stuff. There's a lot of stuff in here for less than, I'm not going to say how much, for less than $100. Cover your ears, Steven. There is a sweatshirt, a pair of sweatpants, two t-shirts, eight postcards, and a magnet. It's like... I got, I bought the sweatshirt and the sweatpants and got the rest for free. Huh, that's basically what that is. Girl math. So one of the places, the quick service places that we haven't tried yet is the deli. Obviously a deli is a sandwich shop and they're normally open more extended than just the buffet. Uh, I think that they're open until like 11 o'clock. And so we got a hot dog and some fries. The fries are a little bit soggy, but they also just kind of hit the spot. But this hot dog, 
This looks fire. It kind of tastes like a Costco hot dog. And I love that. I love Costco hot dogs. You're going to love this, Stephen. No light entertainment. No more ice cream on tap. I'm writing on my comment card. That comedy was my favorite part. Wake me up when we cruise again. You guys are awesome. Come back. Boom! Alright, we've made it back to the cabin. It has been a fantastic evening. We have done so much since the last time we talked to you. I think the last thing we did was the party, and that was a lot of fun. Yes, we had so much fun at that party. It was... It was a blast. I was dancing, especially to that Taylor Swift. They played all the eras of the music, which was a really nice, inclusive feeling. So no matter what age or generation you were, it felt like there was a song for you. Yes. And um, even though we're not really the partying type of people, it felt like a very inclusive party, and it was a lot of fun. So even though we were up on the balcony, we just we had a great time. Jalen danced. I watched <laughs> as, as it normally goes, but it was still fun. The energy definitely transferred up all the way onto the third floor. Which, by the way, you would think that that is a smaller atrium, that a party in there would be worse because it's a small ship, small atrium, only two floors. But honestly, it fit everyone just fine. Yeah. Uh, we were on Carnival Radiance, and that has three floors, and it barely fit everyone. So I, maybe, I don't know. It's just kind of a miracle that everyone fits. And that's kind of the story for the whole cruise, really, is that a lot of the places never felt overcrowded. I did not feel overcrowded at all, except in the buffet today yeah. for lunch. But other than that, everywhere, like, none of the venues, I feel like, were so full that we couldn't get in. And I really like that. Yeah, that is one of the big positives of Carnival Miracle. The other big positive is, is the shopping. I feel like Carnival isn't like the other cruise lines where they overcharge for things, you know? And sometimes their sales aren't that great on other cruise lines. But Carnival had some pretty affordable things. We bought a lot throughout the cruise, and it I really helped. So much. It really helped that we caught the uh, end of the Alaska season. They had leftover merch they were trying to get rid of, and uh, we took advantage of it. 50% off is just phenomenal. But even some of their regular merch, I mean, it wasn't overpriced like some of the other cruise lines or some of the items you would expect so like the ship model was still the price of a ship model not the price of two <laughs> not eighty dollars like another cruise line i can think of <laughs> but yeah so overall it, it everything was really affordable we bought a lot more than we planned on buying but we're happy with it yes and we're excited to wear it on our future cruises with carnival and not on carnival but in alaska <laughs> So we did not pack, so we're not setting out our luggage. So we will be walking it off tomorrow. We never do that, so that'll be a little bit different for us. Just a kind reminder to those of you who are new to cruising, there's two ways to get your luggage off this ship. One is the traditional method in which you put your luggage out the night before. You put a luggage tag from the cruise line out with a number, and then they'll take it, collect it overnight, hold it, and you'll meet up with your luggage the next day in the terminal, and they'll call you according to number and that's how you get your luggage off the ship. That way you don't have the inconvenience of dealing with your luggage in the morning of debarkation. Or the other, which is more popular in Carnival, is the self-assist in which you take your luggage yourself off the ship, meaning that you have to deal with it all morning long as you wait to get called off, you go eat breakfast, and yada, yada, yada. But you have the luxury of having your luggage throughout the entire time. So you don't have to pack the night before. You could pack the morning of and be very, very last minute, but uh, we are going to pack ahead because we do have to be out of the room by 8.30 tomorrow so that's going to be a little rough and you know carnival goes late so i imagine we won't be the only ones so we got to get that packing done and then calling it a night we are exhausted this has been a crazy and fun cruise we have just had late nights and early mornings i don't think we've woken up this early on a cruise ship this many days in a row like ever nope. <laughs> so especially when it wasn't my family dragging us out of bed. Mm -hmm. yeah, and even was, that we slept in on. <laughs> this was all self done. Motivated. This is all, self -motivated. We all did this to, we did this to ourselves. So you don't have to be like us. You could sleep in. Just not tomorrow morning. You do have to wake up tomorrow morning. Yes. Like we do. So we're gonna get packed and I call it a night. So we'll see you tomorrow.
Good morning. It's the next day, so now we have to go through the process of getting off. But first, breakfast before we get off. Yes! Goodbye, 4149. It was a blast staying in ya. Good cabin. We got breakfast. And they finally had my favorite juice. They had it on the first day and then we missed it. They already had switched over to lemonade all the other days. But it's a guava passion orange or something like that. And it is the most fantastic drink I've ever had in my entire life. Make sure to try it. But the omelet looks amazing. Hash browns, sausage. We came kind of late for the buffet, so like the last half hour. So it wasn't too overly crowded as you would expect it to be. But the line just took a while. So give it a try. Mm, we got so many goodies in this. Oh my god, it's so good. Almost are the way to go. Alrighty, well they have made the last call. So we gotta get off. I don't wanna get off though, let's just go hide. I wish. You didn't hear that. Hi. <laughs> I didn't. Final steps on board. Oh. I don't wanna get off. <laughs> Usually the worst moment. It just got worse. Goodbye, miracle. Huh. Not fair. We should be able to stay on board forever and ever. And ever. And ever. One last look at the miracle as we walk off. But now it's the same path that we walked up just four days ago. But now, with we're millions of memories all more. Of our new mem no, we're not leaving behind the memories. We're leaving behind all of our new friends we made. Louie called us a friend. He said you guys are my you guys are my friends. We've made it through the terminal, gone through customs and everything. It was a really fast process, it was, I mean. Like extremely fast. So it's all over now. I guess it's just until the next adventure. Don't know when that will be, but it will be soon, I'm sure. Thank you all for joining along with us. I hope that you watch the whole series. If not, go back and watch the rest of them. Uh, we had such a fun time on Carnival Miracle. Honestly, I highly recommend this ship. It's a really great cruise. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you have any questions about Carnival Miracle or any other cruising related subject, please feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this series and watching the next series as well. As always, this isn't a goodbye, but just a see, see you real soon. soon.